All right. So today I am going to be talking to you guys a little bit about Raspberry Pi. Um, so the purpose of Raspberry Pi is pretty simply to get students um, programming and to get students to understand how a computer works. So Raspberry Pi, it um, basically it's a little credit card credit card size computer that plugs into a computer monitor or you can use it as a you can plug it into a TV. Um, and then you can plug in a mouse, a keyboard and those type of things because it does have um, a couple of HDMI ports. It has a headphone jack, uh, obviously a port for Ethernet cable. Um, I said the HDMI, uh, it's got a power source. It has a uh, basically built-in um, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi on it, card for uh, a port for uh, an SD card. Um, it's got uh, general input, output, um, board on it, which I'm going to be talking to you today about. And uh, probably the most important part, the brains of the computer, is the, uh, the broad, uh, Broadcom CPU. So with that being said... Um, So, let's see where we're at here. Um, so, Raspbian is kind of like the main operating system for the Raspberry Pi. And, uh, you know, some of the programs that you can use, there's a lot of different programs. Mainly, um, today I'm going to be talking to you about Scratch, but you could also use Python. Um, and I think those would be the main two that I would be using with uh, my students. So a sample project that I would do for my students. Um, so I teach fifth grade, but I'm actually going to second grade, which I actually found out two weeks ago because my district or my school is downsizing. So I'm going to a different um, school and teaching second grade next year, but that's neither here nor there. Um, all right, so what my students are going to be doing is they're going to be making a Santa detector with Raspberry Pi using Scratch. Um, and where I got this is projects.raspberrypi.org. So what they're going to need is they're going to need um, the Raspberry Pi um, computer, and they are also going to need um, the motion detector and then the female jumpers to connect to the uh, input output I was talking to about on the board. So, um, and the Scratch 3 is going to be the, the software that they're going to be using. So basically what students are going to be doing is they're going to be hooking the Raspberry Pi up along with the sensor. They are going to be... Um, utilizing uh, Scratch to build um, their Santa Sprite. And then the idea is that on Christmas Eve, then they can hook this up, point the sensor at the door, and then the sensor is going to detect, um, you know, Santa, a human with its, uh, with its detection. And then it's gonna play over the speakers. I guess you might need speakers too if they're not already built into your computer. Um, it's gonna alert you with the speakers. Okay, so um, the main objective is to get the students familiar with Raspberry Pi, um, but I, the overall, the objective is to kind of get them building in Scratch. Okay, so scroll down here. So here is what they're going to be coding in to, uh, to see if that sensor is working. And then they're going to Create. As you can see right here for this project, you will need your own sprite, which can warn you when Santa is approaching. Um, so they're going to delete the cat. Obviously, right, that's like, you know, the main default uh, sprite. And they're going to be um, creating their Santa to make it easier. They can, um, they can use the default one, the default Santa here. So... Uh, for my rubric, what I would use basically pass fail in my district, they have uh, it's four through one. So basically it's a three if they are able to use this and it's a one if they're not able to successfully do it. Okay, thank you.